Hey guys, and welcome back to Arcane Assist. Grab your popcorn and beer, because we're going to be here for a while. For this one, it is a long, long game. So hopping straight into the lists, I'm playing Menoth, John's playing Trolls, I got me some Sevy 1, and we've got ourselves a battle group of a Reckoner, a Revenger, and a Devout. Uh, the Devout is not as useful in this list, because Sevy already has Sacred Ward, so he doesn't really need Spell Barrier, but Shield Guard is always nice. We have the Avatar of Menoth, big bad scary monster as always. Saxon Oric, because, you know, Errants were always better with Pathfinder. We've got the Book, because the Book. We've got Rack. We've got Vilman, because he messes people's shit up. Uh, Minquire, because I really only need to buff the Avatar and the Reckoner. Errants, because Defenders Warded Errants are still and always will be a pain in the ass. And in this game, I don't even have to worry about Purity taking off my Defenders Ward because of the lack of offensive spells that John has in his Borka list. And we have, last but not least, Flame Guard Cleansers. They're not particularly good against Trolls, but I wanted to try them out with Sevy one because I think Eye of Menoth is really good with them. John, what do you have? Okay, so I'm playing Vulcan 1. I got Rock. I got Mauler. Uh, I got Wrong Eye and Snapjaw for Starcross. I got the Champions, full unit. Uh, Champion Solo. I also have a UA, Scaldi. I have Alton Ashley. I have Victor Pendrick. I have a Ferragais. Full unit of stones and the UA. So that's my list. Uh, I played it a lot. I love it. And it, you'll see how good it performs. Yeah, it's kind of your new your new take on family reunion because you can't do that anymore. And you used to yell, you used to love that. Yeah, I only started playing family reunion just before the IG at the Sioux. And uh love that list. Got all the champions for it. Now I can't really play my any more champions. <laughs> so I got a kind of tweak it a bit and wrong eye snap jaw is just amazing all right now we're just gonna head right into the game so we have for terrain a hill on to the right side with my deployment zone shallow water right above that hill a trench right below the clock below that there's a wall a forest to the left of it and then below that there is rubble a forest and an obstruction in the house and right above the dice tray, we have a wall. And the scenario we're playing is Incursion. Classic three flags along the middle. Uh, control and dominate them, or or dominate them, whatever you desire, uh, for one point. Yeah, the scenario, I don't think... I don't know. This is one of my worst scenarios. I don't like it. I feel like you need a big army, big infantry to uh, control all the scenarios and play it. But you got to play all the scenarios eventually, so... Yeah, this is our last scenario we had to play for. Yeah, I think th uh, after this game, we've covered all the scenarios currently in the Steamroller Packet, except for Lime Breaker, because fuck that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Newsflash, I think Lime Breaker is a shit scenario. <laughs> okay, so getting, getting into the game. Basically, first turn, run everything. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Defenders Ward the Errants. Vision on Sevy. Uh, that's, that's all I got. Moving up the Revenger in a way that I can get some ashes to ashes off on the um the the stone unit in a couple turns. At least that was my plan. Running around to flank, uh, maybe even get a death sentence on a, an important unit like Rock or the Mauler or even Borka if I'm lucky. Um. Yeah, moving the avatar down towards the lower flag because I think he has a high enough mat and t to deal with wrong eye and snapjaw, uh, even under Starcrossed. So he can do some work there with his high pow uh, sword. Okay. So uh, my first turn is basically uh, run, run. Uh, Victor Penrick is near the dice tray. He's going to be hanging out there all game, make sure he can test that flag. Like I said, I feel like you need a lot of infantry, a lot of models to play in scenarios like this. And, well, Victor Pendrick is going to be the model that's going to be contesting that flag all game. So, um, champions ran up behind the wall. Uh, they're going to be defense 14 while engaged by melee. 
goes up to 16 because I put Arcane Ward on them. And then it goes... Then also they're going to be under Starcross all game. So you're going to have defense 16 champions and melee under Starcross. Yep. It's a pain in the dick. So this is definitely one reason why I decided to take champions with Boker again. Just because Arcane Ward now is uh, plus two defense. He no longer gives the uh, armor buff. Iron Flesh. Well, Iron Flesh was a defense buff. Correct. Yeah, it was. But yeah. it doesn't, doesn't the speed penalty is not there. I don't know. I just, oh, Arcane Ward uh, also gives them uh, I can't remove it. Yeah, you can't I can't it. cast spells at them. You can't target them with spells. Magic attack. It's, like, really good for them. Yeah. Luckily, I have the, the Blessed Crossbows on the Errants to do a little bit of work on the champions. They're not going to do a huge amount of damage because they're POW 10, POW 11 in this list, thanks to I have Menoth. Uh, and that's, like, dice off 6. 18. Yeah, 18. dice off 6 against... POW 11? Yeah, POW 11. Dice off... Or, sorry, 7. Dice off 7. Math. Yeah. Uh, dice off seven on chips, which is uh, not great. <laughs> um, yeah, and what's a rat on your Starcross? Oh, uh, well, their rat goes from six to seven. They I guess the range is ten, on, though, yeah, right? Yeah, they, they can stay out of so Starcross. Yeah. So our rock ran up. He's uh, spraying. He's doing assault. I just need a fury. So he's running up, assaulting the one errant. I hit. I don't. I don't know. Roll the dice here. I do kill one. I self sack because oh yeah I want the threat uh, imposed by having guys closer to the front. So um, <laughs> what I did here, I messed up turn one. I haven't played trolls in a bit, as you can tell by all the cast. Um, I have four fury on rock and two fury on the mauler, and I'm camping zero, so I have six fury. So I am over fury. I'm gonna have to make a threshold check next turn on on top on bottom of two. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm like, oh, man, did I really just do this? So wrong eye snap job. Wrong eye walks up. Uh, star cross, submerge. Snap jaw, submerge. Rallies for three and walks up. That's what they're going to be doing all game. Champ solo tolls that rubble all game. He has Pathfinder on charges. And Feral Geist I threw in this list just because I had one point to spare. I used to have the Gobblers in there. I've taken them out recently. And I decided the fair guys can do a little more. Uh, most lists will be okay, but he has blessed crossbows. So once again, I need to make sure threat ranges him outside, and he doesn't get sniped off. Yeah, and I mean, really, with the errants, it's a it's a bit of a pain because I want to charge stuff with them because uh, they go to mat eight, pow ten weapon masters, but uh, I can't <laughs> it, I can't charge the the champs and also. <laughs> Um, shoot! Sh assault the the feral guys because he's just in the complete opposite direction, and I have to stay in command. Uh, Saxon Auric gives the Errant's Pathfinder so they can charge back over that wall. Hopefully, do some damage on the Mauler. Yeah. So now we're oh, also I'm trying to see if I can assault, get a shot off on Alton Ashley, and be in stealth range. I can. Yeah, as it turns out. Yeah, I didn't really play that into uh, into my scenario as I was playing all my flirt ranges. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, Alton actually should be here. She has stealth. That's cool. But you're like, oh no, I got assault. Okay, so yeah, um, yep. just measuring, pre-measuring. It's a thing. We talk about it every week. We always will talk about it. I think you rolled four fury for the avatar again this turn. Uh yeah, I rolled <laughs> irrelevant number of. Focus, because, meh. Uh, Reckoner shooting at the Mauler. Hits, boost damage, uh, does tiny, tiny Two amounts damage. of damage. Just pointing what you can on it. Uh, what was your, um, coming into this game, What was your, you knew what list I was going to play, so you had the choice of making a list. Well, I, I didn't. You gave me two casters you were going to play, and I was like, well, I'll see what painted Menoth I have. True. <laughs> Yeah, well, Boker 1 is definitely probably one of my favorite casters right now. Um, when you seen I was playing him, what was your course of action coming into it? Like, did you have a plan? Were you going for scenario? Were you just going for nutrition? I figured if I can jam up in the front like I'm doing right now, I can probably get the avatar on the bottom flag, and there's nothing that can really contest him. I mean, Snapjaw can maybe go after him, but I don't think the avatar dies to Snapjaw. I don't think that happens. And... On the other two flags, I can put Vilman in the middle. He's 
and he's just either not going to die because he's going to be armed 21, and I can even put vision on him to make him even more of a little, little asshole, um, and I can put the Reckoner on the top flag, and you only have two heavies, and those heavies aren't going to get to the Avatar anytime soon. And if you commit them to the Reckoner, then I can just charge you with a million Weapon Masters. And even my, like, small guns and other low pow weapons in this list become a little more threatening thanks to Eye of Menoth, because everything is plus one pow, thanks to that. And I, I don't really have too much trouble hitting under Eye, with Eye of Menoth on things that are under Starcross. And when I do hit, I'm doing a lot of damage, because it's charges with four dice, dice off eight, but that's still doing, like, five or six damage on average, which is enough to cause a tough check. Yeah, um, so as you were watching, uh, his Aaron's running, did quite a bit of damage from Alder. I think he crippled his spirit. Um, so, armor 18, uh, arm 20 under the stone. Arm 20 under the stone, what Master Pal 10s. You get to shoot at him because you assaulted, as well as doing your weapons. So you took out his spirit, which was something I didn't expect you were going to be doing here. Um, now you're just jamming. Like, this is... Yep. Yeah, it's it's, it's a problem. I'm playing <laughs> the troll game against trolls. Because this is what trolls want to do. They want to get all up in your face and make sure that even if you kill some dudes, there's more dudes. Um, so it's my turn now. Uh, take out my fear back, and this is where I real. Uh, once again, I realize I'm like, oh, I need to make a frenzy check. So my mother needs to roll for a frenzy check, and he is good. <laughs> yep, that would have sucked if he had just been like, no, I don't want to do anything this turn. Punch errant. Uh, yeah, well. and he might not even kill that errant because because <laughs> defender's word is a thing. So, so need, my yeah. caster's going first. Um, I kind of rushed it first. Like, I, w I really wasn't thinking. Uh, I just kind of rushed into my turn. I should have sat back and um, figured out what I was going to plan and do. Um, my caster goes up. It's going to cast a bomb. He's shooting the errant. Defense uh, 14. 14 under Defender's Ward, yes. So I uh, misses. Um, does no damage. Uh, then I'm just checking. I'm checking. I want to pop my feet this turn because get plus two movement. Um, so I'm checking if my uh, Mauler can get anywhere meaningful this turn. Like, trample's a thing. I don't think people use trample enough. I also healed my Mauler. I made sure I healed my Mauler's spirit back this turn, too. So Yep. Just measuring the distance. He could get there. I think the issue with this was you didn't have Pathfinder. Yes. So, so you now, couldn't go over that wall. So now we're just trying to determine if he can make it there uh, with going on a slight angle, but either way I do it, I think the Pathfinder has to hit the wall, or the hits a wall and I'm out. Yep. So just once again, a lot of pre-measuring. It's, uh, I say it every game. <laughs> um, looking around, think tank a bit, don't want to do it. And there's the heal for the Mauler, make sure that's a thing. Yep, because otherwise you <laughs> wouldn't have been able to trample. Checking kill box. No, there is no kill box, is there? No, you're moving up the peg. Get oh, yeah. <laughs> Pig See, keg. So, carrier. yeah, this is where I uh, went too fast. I should have moved the keg first, top off my caster, gave him the plus two fury. Yeah. And then I have extra fury to play with right now. Yep. And then it would make things a little different. But now I'm, once again, I'm stuck on two fury now. Mm hmm. So now I got to think about the fury, once again, if I thresh her next turn again or not. So. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm really just thinking. Like, it's it's tough. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think Rock's swing, taking a few swings at the guys in front. No, Alton actually took a shot. Sorry. Missed. Or actually, he hit and did no damage. That's what he did. Pow 12, so. Yep. Uh, did, did, not, did not kill. Armor 5, 14? 15? On the errands? Yeah. No, they're 18. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Never mind. 18 with the Fender's Ward. Oh, yeah. So once again, I'm just trying to think, okay, do I trample just over these two errands, free up one of my war beasts? Because I think if I have one war beast clear, I can do a little more uh, work with them. So the Mauler goes for the trample. Uh, one for the trample. So he has two because of the threshold check. I'm going to boost and boost. I think I miss, and I miss. 
So I don't <laughs> failed to kill two errants with a trample. And then my mauler is sitting on four. And that <laughs> mauler is super dead now. Yeah. He just gave me a free heavy. So Rock has to go over and f- cleans up, tries to finish the job. Um, he's Matt nine. Um, yep. Kills those two errants. I doesn't <laughs> berserk. <laughs> Had to yeah. check, make sure Has no more berserk. I could have self sacked just to force you to use your other attack, but it doesn't doesn't help me all that much. So once again, I'm sitting with uh, five fury on the table, and I'm camping too. So threshold threshold checks will happen again. Yep, threshold, threshold checks. So now I'm thinking to myself, what is my best plan here? Do I commit the champions, move them forward more? Do I just hold back and just try to contest the flags for, so he can't score this turn? So I'm moving my champions, activating them. Yep, they're just walking here. They do have uh, Pathfinder on charges, though. So um, they're actually getting the run charge order. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no. Because I need I to just, kill this I Aaron. thought the angles... So I had to kill this Aaron that's uh, Man, bought my caster. Because no. I think if he uh, gets a charge on my caster, it could be pretty deadly. Um, so I got one champion over their charge. Got two champions over the wall. And... Uh, Scaldy charged or just ran behind the other champion to give him the bonus uh, yep. defense. So I missed the first attack. I think I hit the second one. Do damage. Uh, kill the errant. And he's checking for self sack because that would have been a pain in the ass. But he was out. <laughs> yep. Self sack's really important against these champions as well because if I do self sack, oh. he can't overtake. Yes. So um, I'm, ma- I'm making an attack here. He's self sacking. I'm like, oh. Shit, that's a thing. Yeah, so now that champion, that charged, doesn't get any attacks. So now I need to like redirect. He self sacks another one. I'm like, okay, so I gotta make sure I play this out so I can kill all the errants I'm trying to kill. Self sack is a an incredibly powerful tool because now I've just taken out all the models that were in the melee range of the one that went over the wall and all of the uh, errants that were in the melee range of the guy closer to the bottom of the unit because he he's lost four attacks right there and i still have i think one or two errants in that little one area yeah in that jamming five champs yeah and that's that's four, huge four champs now yeah. wrong eye is going to come in and yeah, try wrong to eye is trying to finish the job here so star cross uh i think a boost a hit um yeah i just wanted the errant cleared i just the one errant i don't know the one activation there, like extra activation to do it, just didn't work. No. Um, so uh, with that uh, proxy base in the bottom by uh, Snapjaw, I have it. I'm measuring the avatar's threat range because I wanted to make sure the avatar could not kill uh, Snapjaw. Because I'm pretty sure that the start of the game, you said the Snapjaw can't kill Avatar. Avatar can definitely kill Snapjaw. Yep. <laughs> so just making sure that won't happen, staying outside the threat range. Yeah. So that's what that proxy base is there for. And uh, even under Starcrossed, I'm I'm effectively Matt eleven. No, I got a Matt Matt ten. Yeah, Matt eleven because uh, or sorry, no, because Choir Buff doesn't give plus two to hit. I'm Matt nine because of um, I have Menoth, which is still really good because I think Snapjaw is only deaf eleven, twelve. Deaf twelve. Yeah, so it's not ones to hit. So Starcross doesn't really matter all that much. No. So the Avatar got knocked down by uh. A victor. Yep. Just threw a, a shout out, so you have to spend a fury. Yeah. Or a focus, sorry. But, I don't know, just irrelevant right now. Uh, what's your plan here after you uh, killed, like, what, four four errants? Uh, well, the errants are kind of there to die, right? They're kind of there to occupy space, make it so that you have to take time and commit things to taking them up. Uh, the plan is to use the rest of the errants that are up around that mauler, and the Reckoner to kill the Mauler, which takes one of your major players off of the table. Uh, get a, trying to get a lot more errants into the uh, the little gap with the champions. Uh, I also wanted to try and make room, I think, for Vilmin to get into Wrong Eye. There's no room for it to happen. Uh, it would have been nice. But unfortunately, I don't get that opportunity. And now we're just swinging at champs under Starcrossed. It's really hard to hit sevens under Starcrossed. 
it's 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 painful. Army team. Yep. Force duff. He's tough. A retaliatory strike. Misses. Yes. <laughs> so good with champ solo. Uh, with champions, they have they're steady when they're base to base with the whole unit, and they have retaliatory strike. So if they pass their tough check, then they're still standing. So they get their uh, yeah, they hit you back. <laughs> Mat seven, weapon master, pow elevens, and if you have a stone aura up, it's pow twelves. So yeah, most of the time the stone aura was doing no continuous this game because yep. of the flame guard. Yeah, um, which is probably one of the 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 few merits that they had against your list. Um, but it it was it was good for me because <laughs> otherwise there'd be more. More dead things, and I don't like my things being dead for obvious reasons. So I think your um, Jack there charged my Mauler. Yep. Uh, staying out of Starcross for obvious reasons. He's going to be able to take... Uh, actually, I just walked in because I wanted the extra attacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, arm, 18, arm 20 under uh, stone. Yeah. Power what? Uh, 17. Uh, attacks minus 3. Yeah. Uh, don't do it, but Vilman's gonna clean house here with his POW 15, thanks to I have Menoth, Weapon Master, Charge. So dice off five. Only needs to do eight damage. Eight or seven, one of the two. Does only two. Does two damage. <laughs> Vilman, you failed me. <laughs> so the Mauler's sitting on like six boxes at this time. Uh, now here's where the cleansers get to do their work because there's a lot oh. of uh, trolls bunched together here. The sprays. So the sprays, while they're not great rat and not great pow, there's enough of them hitting here um, that they'll hopefully do some work. So you're definitely um, you're trying to get rid of Starcross. So you're aiming for uh, yeah, I'm the trying champions to hit in front of yeah. wrong eye, right? Trying to hit wrong eye. I think I was actually aiming at my errant in the back just to get the right angle so I can get two champions and wrong eye. Right now I'm making tough checks with my stones. He uh, sprayed my stones down. Got three of them. Killed two. Yep. So that's pretty good. The aura shrinks. Um, it is a max unit aura, so it, it shrinks. Also trying to uh, hit Scotty here and take him out because he... Um, rentless charge. Yeah. Gives important things to the champs. Uh, yeah, rentless charge. Not to charge. mention he's just nasty himself. Also gives overtake, I think. Uh, yeah, gives him tactics. So that wouldn't go away, though. No. So. Still, so champion off the table if I can get him. I don't. He did a few boxes. I think he did two boxes to him. Uh, and more importantly, I do hit wrong eye here, so I set him on fire. Don't kill him, though. Uh, end up taking out the, the, the champion that had one box left uh, after he made his tough jack earlier. I uh, do a couple boxes. To is ride. he on fire this? No, he's not on fire this turn. Yeah, he is. Oh, he is. I didn't do continuous. Yeah, before. no, you did plus one strength, I guess. Then. <laughs> oh no, no, it's friendly faction. That's why he's on fire. Oh yeah, because he's not affected go. by yeah. the stone either His way. Minions. Yeah. There you go. You're not a troll. You're a crocagator. Yeah, I guess that's why he's red. <laughs> so you're just making more rolls against my uh, champions. Yeah, sprays eat your clock. <laughs> yeah, so like it's a lot of sprays. What's doing? How many unit, you have? What five sprays? It's a unit. It's a min unit. So there's six. So you have six sprays. AOE or spray, spray eight. eight. Uh, they don't have the UA. Mostly because I don't own the UA. <laughs> Otherwise, they probably would. Book no spells. So you left a Mauler on four or five boxes. Like after that happened, what was your thought process i figured it's hurt enough that it's not really gonna matter all that much because i could just kill it next turn and you have to devote some um some fury to heal it up because i've taken out two of his aspects and you're only a fury five caster so that's a lot of re resource investment and that's those are transfers you could have uh, fury seven with the top off yeah so two extra can go heal him so here's your uh you're shooting victor now yep shooting victor with saxon um he toughs. <laughs> it's tough. He's knocked down. Repo I, into the flag. I am still within four. I am contesting that flag, so there's no points scored there. Uh, yeah, Victor plays 
a small role in this game, but he plays a pretty big, pretty big thorn in your. He <laughs> is a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, he's he's done his job. Uh, most of the time with Victor in this list, uh, I would drop into hordes um, with Alton Ashley and Victor Pendrick. Uh, I feel like my, this will be my hordes drop. Yeah, and I can't get uh, Avatar into a place where he can re hit hit uh, Victor because I can't charge because the Saxon's in the way. <laughs> a little bit of a user error there. So I actually just ran uh, Avatar at Snapjaw because that way, like the, this, the playing the cat and mouse game is a little bit useless to me. Uh, and I know he can't one round the avatar with reasonable dice. So I figured it's safe enough to just run at him, let him hit the avatar a bit, and hopefully whatever's left can kill Snapjaw. Because all I need, all I need is the right arm to be working. Yeah. And that, that means Snapjaw's dead. So what you see in Evan there, he's pointing at his racks behind his building. Because till this time... I didn't know he had a racks because he was hiding it behind the building the whole time. So he's like, I'm going to pull it off the racks. I'm like, what racks? He's like, it's right here behind this building. <laughs> so like, yeah, he uh, hit it there the whole game. Uh, your caster's casting some spells. Uh, yes, I think I'm casting Ashes to Ashes at... Um, or no, I cast Death Sentence on Borka. Oh, yeah, through your arc? Yeah, I missed the first time, figured through I'm safe enough to just boost it and cast it again. So what does that give you? Uh, any attack I make against Borka, I can reroll to hit. Oh, wow. Yep, and okay. I feeded, so he can't cast spells. More importantly, uh, Wrong Eye can't cast Starcross. Uh, Starcross. Okay, so now I'm thinking about... Also, it gives him minus two to his Fury stats, so he can't pull as many Fury in, so that Mauler might frenzy. At least that's the plan. Have the Mauler Frenzy with four Fury on him, of oh. which you can only take three. And Rock had two on. Yep. So my plan is uh, I'm going to let the Mauler Frenzy. I'm going to take the Fury off Rock. Um, now I'm debating if it's uh, a feet turn here to myself now. I debated last turn. I'm debating do I need the extra movement. Uh, charges are free under my feet turn. Um... Power attacks are free, I should say, under my feet turn. And my whole army gets uh, plus two movement on charges. So it's a pretty good feat. Uh, he does frenzy. Or oh, he doesn't frenzy. No, he does. He just doesn't. Uh, he, he, he kills an errant. Oh, okay. Yeah, I dropped the fury. Yeah. So there, there goes his activation. He killed someone, which is great. Uh, his mine was out, so he only rolled one. He, his die. body was out, so he only rolled one damage die. Yeah, which now, is still enough. Uh, now when you frenzy, you have to move the full three inches in order to get the additional damage die. It's not just boosted anymore. But it was still enough to kill Aaron. Yep. I am now moving over with uh, top off. I top my caster off because he is now Fury 3 this turn. Yep. Goes so to 5. No, goes to 5. Because of top off. Stumbling drunk is a thing. So good. Um, just to be in, in what order do I need to do it to kill that uh, his two jacks top of the table? And I only have one uh, heavy beast, but he is pretty strong. He's he's a tank. Yeah, Rock's a monster. I mean, plus you can give him rage. I can give him rage and I can give him primal. Well, you can't give him that at the same time. No. And no. rage is probably better in this situation because I don't think he's going to have trouble hitting. No. He's uh, Matt 7. so Exactly. Uh, rage under the stone aura. Uh, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> uh, he goes to uh, pile 19 with range, rage, and pile 20 with the stone aura. So I'm, I'm hoping he can uh, kill the one jack and berserk and the other one do some damage and then buy some attacks. Like That's my goal here was to kill both jacks. I also have two champions in the top of the table that can do some damage. Yep. So it is my feet turn. The issue with the champions is they can't go too far from the uh, the other ones, or else. Scaldi, <laughs> yeah, Scaldi is the, gonna, yeah. the leader right now, right? So like his command's nine. Um, so I'm just measuring stuff out. Uh, wrong guys going first. Wrong guys trying to kill that errant, make way for the champs. That has been there all game. Misses. Uh, bye boost. <laughs> Misses again. 
Bye. And nope. Yep. So, yep. Wrong Eye did four attacks with his hook. Could not kill Aaron. So I had to activate my champs. It's job. <laughs> no, it's not. He's supposed to cast uh, Starcross. Starcross all game. But, no, that doesn't happen. No. So Wrong Eye uses his tail. Uh, knocks him down. Yep. Gets the, the crit, crit knockdown on the avatar. Which I'm like, okay, this could this could work now. Hopefully I can roll some good damage to uh, kill him. Uh, well, double ones. Five there. Uh, was it pow? Uh, uh, wrong eye or snap draw is pow 18 and pow 15. Yep. So armor on the avatar is? 21 with a shield. So I left you on six, seven boxes it looks like. Yep. So our whole... I still have uh, your arm. my arm, which is the only thing that matters. So now I'm trying with my champ solo. Rentless charge. Charging weapon master. Pow 12. Under the stone. Two damage. Yep. So that's the thing. So Still have my right arm. Avatar is still alive with his right arm. So as we were talking about before, how Snapjaw can't wrong one round uh, Avatar. Well, he can't with dice like that. <laughs> well... I think you also you have to roll really lucky with location, and you have to manage to take out the shield first, like first or second attack, or else it's not going to work. Okay. Because then I go from arm twenty-one to arm nineteen. So dice minus one, on, on bite. It's a lot better than uh, minus three. So I'm measuring if I can kill an errant, overtake, get to him with a champion, see if I can finish off the damage. Uh, they don't have Pathfinder when they're overtaking because they're not charging. So I'm like <laughs> doing so much pre-measuring here. got to be pre precise. Um, in the end, he cannot do it because the errants only have 0.5 melee, not an inch. So in the end, uh, my champions will activate and kill as much as I can because I figured I need to get as many errants off the table as possible. Um, I feel like I'm kind of pushing towards the uh, nutrition game right now. Um, my champions are five boxes. They're pretty, pretty hard to get through. Yep. I mean, the other thing is, I only have like four, <laughs> three or four errants left at this point, so it's not that hard to get them off the table. Getting a champ right into the jam there. Yeah. Now I'm like, you know what? They're not going to stay base to base right now. I'm just going to move champions. I'm going to try to jam you with one champion at a time. They have two attacks, and they have also have overtake. So if I can, I figured if I could. Engage your th flamethrower guys. I would a lot less attacks will be coming at me with those uh, sprays. Yeah, uh, for sure. Especially because their their melee is only pow eleven uh, under, and that's with that's with Eye of Menoth. Uh, so it's not great against champions. Yeah, the only advantage I have against them right now is that they're not base to base anymore, so they're not steady. And Starcross is not up. And Starcross is not. But um, they're doing they're doing work. Each champion has to kill a unit, and each champion has to overtake into more units. So a lot less attacks coming towards me. Um, the champions now, to me, I realize will be uh, will be gone. Will be a throwaway unit the rest of the game. Like I'm like, okay, they're up there. They're going to die. They're doing their job now. They're killing who they can. And this is all the lead up to Rock to kill your two jacks. Like this is I need to kill have Rock kill a jack, and that's my plan here. Yep, that champion gets some work done on the Revenger in the trench. Overtakes the max. Uh, no, you push no, me away. I, I, yeah, I repulsor shield you out. Yeah, after so you don't get your second attack. After you reminded me twice, I still went in and did it and still got pushed away. Yep. <laughs> Alton Ashley's taking a shot. Yep. Shooting at the uh, ba banner for the Errants. Hits, doesn't kill, thanks to Defender's Ward. And reposition three forward. I feel I need to get Alton Ashley across the board now to contest the fire flag. Uh, Victor stands up, is shooting. Uh, misses. <laughs> Still contesting. The battle continues. Still contesting. That's all he needs to do. Throw guys. I'll run to Victor. I run run towards that flag. Yep. Because <laughs> your mad your closest magic guns are the errants, right? Mm-hmm. And most of them are on the far side of the board tangled up with champions so here's a rock we're measuring see if rock can get into uh charge distance yeah so i decided not to charge your arc node decided to go for the big charge on the 
Reckoner. Reckoner. It's and that's a good choice because uh, otherwise you would have been bumped away. So I got rage on him. Uh, I also got charge for free. That's why you don't see no fury. Uh, he's a uh, pow nineteen. He has pow seventeen and pow nineteen. So he has three at two attacks, one at seventeen, one at nineteen. Uh, our D armor is not good enough to live. Takes four attacks, something like that. And now I buy an attack on your your guy to bump me. Uh, pow nineteen dice plus. Yeah, I don't even get to bump you because you just one shot me. Yeah, I was like <laughs> dice plus. Dice plus enough. <laughs> Dice plus enough. Okay. <laughs> so that's actually a lie. It's not even pound 19 because I'm under uh, Stone Order with it's Rage. Like, yeah, it's like 22 or something. 22. <laughs> yeah. So 18 to 21 plus, yeah, it's 22. Pound, 20, pound 22 with Rock. Yeah. So he's really good. Uh, stumbling drunk, uh, Field Marshal. Oh, no, not even Field. No, no, no. It's, no, no, no. Gets, it's Bond <laughs> it's bonded. Stumbling Drunk. Yeah, it's not even Field Marshal. It's yeah. Bond. It's Stumbling Drunk. With uh, Vulcan 1. So good. It has saved me a few times playing with them. So now, it's back to your turn. You've lost two of your jacks top table. You lost most of your errands. Your Reckoner's pretty hurting, but his arm is still alive. What was your thought? Uh, well, I know that Avatar can, no problems, kill Snapjaw with, with his three big sword attacks that'll just murderize him. Uh, and if he can do that, then he's a big problem coming right up the right up the, the flank that can just clear out everything there. Because if I can jam Rock up, then you have nothing that can deal with uh, Avatar. Sure, some champions can, can come in, but they're too busy dealing with everything else on the table. And so- I still have a devout that can kind of walk around and kill a champion or two in that big jam. Saxon Orc charges through the Feralgeist at Victor. Doesn't kill that son of a bitch. Um, Devout walks up. Gonna stab some champions. Uh, not as bad an idea as you would think, thanks to Eye of Menoth. Because he goes to POW 14, uh, Matt 8. Manages to kill Champ there. Uh, I think I might have messed up and gone out of range of the other champion, so I don't get two. But killing one is good enough for the Devout. Uh, not to mention he's in a good spot to, to defensive strike now if any champions get closer to him or the book or his flamethrower friends. Cleansers are just trying to stab because that's all they really can do right now against that champion in their face. Uh, Less trying to kill it and more trying to do at least some damage. Flamethrower going on to the the stone, setting it on fire because he did plus one strength. Uh, yeah, so the champions are still defense 14 because of Arcane Ward. So, like, they're not base to base, but they're still defense 14. So, they're still tough to hit. Um, it's on my clock right now. Yeah, because you were uh, debating whether or not you wanted to promote yes. the leader model. Because if the leader model to the stone unit dies to fire, he doesn't get to activate it in his turn because of the promotion uh, mechanic. Yeah. It's weird. So... I debated if I wanted to ha- keep the aura up this turn to protect my caster and other stuff, but he didn't have anything that could go on my caster or my or rock. So I decided to let the aura drop because I didn't want to take the chance of it being on fire and then dying on my turn because I wouldn't be able to promote it so then I'd lose a stone. Yeah, you don't get to do anything. You don't get the benefits of it. Uh, Avatar, three shots, uh, snap job. <laughs> yeah, I... I I didn't want to believe it until I seen it, and it happened. <laughs> like, it wasn't even... It was overkill. Like, it was that bad. Confidence is key. <laughs> yeah. If you think something's going to happen, it will probably happen. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm also trying to figure out how to kill a rock. 
Uh, the answer to that is basically my remaining errants and Vilman. So the other you thing, don't have an answer. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't have an answer. Uh, the other thing I uh, thought about doing was Vilman is in charge range of Borka. So what I can do here is I can cast Vision onto Vilman, so he ignores the free strike from Rock effectively. Yeah, and he gets a nice big juicy weapon master hidden on Borka, which might be relevant. I'm not entirely sure. Which then I transfer. <laughs> yeah. Because I have two transfers to go top off. Yep. <laughs> so that wasn't that wasn't your plan. It's not a good plan. But even this wasn't any better because you missed your first attack. You hit your second one. Yeah. I, I killed a stone member. Oh. Yeah. Kind of r- irrelevant right now because you got the big heavy rock top of your screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, here I'm just blocking line of sight <laughs> to Sebi with his uh, loyal choir members because I... They're not going to do anything else. They have no jacks to buff other than the devout. <laughs> um, so you, you still got line of sight blocked, even though you're on a hill above them. I think I step off the hill. I think I, I think I actually said the exact same co- statement to you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not a good not a good time. There you go. Yeah, and then step. I'm like, wait, now I can't cast it at Vilman because I can't see him. Right? No, I stay on the hill. So you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stay on the hill because I need to cast this. <laughs> yep. Uh, I also put Defender's Ward on myself because I need either Vision or Defender's Ward on myself or else I just die. Because all my guns I have? Yep. So Vilman charges Borka. Stays in uh, Eye of Menoth range. Defense 14. I Vision off the hit from Rock. Because if he, if he misses that attack, I still keep Vision on me. Yes, because so he I has to hit. Question. I have to hit, so I made sure I hit. <laughs> Uh, defense 14, armor... I hit already. Armor 19, because enga- en- yep. en- uh, engaging. It's only dice off four. I do nine damage to you. I transferred it. Yep. Takes out his spirit. I'll just heal it next turn. If there's still a rock. You get nothing left to kill him, man. I have a devout. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Oh no! You I have the book. Uh, right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I completely forgot about As this. He's frenzied. I put the book in front of Rock, and he frenzied and hit it. Yes, that's what happened. Oh, best use of the book ever. Because <laughs> it does one damage. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, does no spells, so it, Wrong Eye will have to move out of that to cast to cast Starcross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I. Uh, <laughs> I have all my Fury back this time. You're not a Fury 3 caster anymore. No, nope, Fury 5. You're in the big boy leagues. You're not a junior. Top up to 7. Basically what you do every turn, make sure he stays within 5. Yep. So good. I also didn't activate someone drunk when he hit me. Hit me. Totally forgot about that in the forest. Yeah. I would have went an inch and a half somewhere. Eh. Or maybe I'm not sure it would have mattered. <laughs> no. So now I have this guy in front of me I need to kill. So I am checking if my uh, champ solo can kill your Reckoner. Avatar. Avatar. He does. he does. Yeah. After you wrong three shot my Snapjaw. Better late than never. <laughs> uh, wrong eye walks over. He's trying to murder this errant. That's in my stone. Yep. So here's when you're debating between, like, you, I think you missed the attack. Or you hit the attack and don't kill him. I no, you I self sacked it. <laughs> I uh, self sacked it. I didn't measure like Ozzy. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Buy and boost. Yeah, you were at a, for a moment. You're you tried to cast uh, Starcross, but you did forgot about the book. Yep. So that's the thing. I hit boost and no it damage. doesn't kill. Hit and doesn't kill. Doesn't kill. Oh, or does no, it kill. does because I Six. dropped Defender's Ward. Yes. So it does kill finally. But he has boxes. I but think. it took all my activation. Also, the fire check I was rolling at the start of the turn, it went out. That's why you see me yeah. roll that one. Yeah. You were hoping because he was he was sitting on two boxes, so you're hoping he would f- fire would kill him. Yeah. Um. So now at this point, I feel real comfort comfortable with my uh, situation on the table. I feel like I have controlled the game because you have nothing to kill this fer- uh, feral guy at the bottom of the table. Nothing. It's true. So he's gonna be sitting there all game controlling that flag. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about. Killing Victor Pendrake so that I can uh, say you killed him. Say I killed him, 
and also have Auric not dying horribly. Uh, yeah, I'm just chilling, seeing what I want to do. Uh, I got champions left. Debating if I want to move the champions over to the flag, try to kill this book, which would take four hits to kill the book. Yep, because it has four health left because the <laughs> rock frenzied on him. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't see that play coming. It was really smart of him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Uh, defensive strike, yeah. Uh, I think this champion dies. And he, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, he dies. Unfortunately, I can only do that once per turn, so I don't get to do it to the other champion that's just going to walk up and hit him. Hit the, uh, hit the book, do one damage. Yep. Hit the book, do one damage. Yep, it dies. Has four attacks from two different champions. Yep. Or two attacks. From only death 10, so it's not ones to hit. Uh, Even ones would miss. One yeah, miss. not not, not one. Yeah, you're not right. Not ones yeah. to hit. Yeah, those are the Stay words I said. Yep. <laughs> so now the board, like it's a slugfest. Like we are down to eight models, maybe on my side. Eight, <sighs> nine. I got ten models on my side. I got a lot of s solos and feather guys. I have a choir. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's more your <laughs> side. That's down to, uh... <laughs> and a cleanser. Oh, don't forget the, and a devout. And fucking Oryx off doing his own <laughs> shit. He's, he's playing trying, his own game? He's playing his own game. He's trying to murder his worst enemy. Uh, fill the Devout up, because the Devout has to kill Rock this turn. <laughs> words you don't want to be saying. Uh, Those armor words. 20. Armor 20. Full boxes, because I don't think you've done any damage. No, no, you transferred that 9 damage. Oh, yeah. He, he Choir battles damage. him. And moves up into the, the choir wall. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to block line of sight to Sevi. Because all my guns I have. <laughs> Reroll it. You missed the tray. Trying to kill Victor. And he tops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Victor's a douche. <laughs> so, yeah, Victor's um, Here I'm debating whether or not it's better to uh, charge or walk in. And you decided to. I, I walked in. Or did I? No. No, I charged. You charged. You need this power. You hit. Hit. Ba -ba -da -ba -da, roll the dice. Wow. Yeah, I spiked it hard. Yeah. <laughs> Stumbling drunk. See ya. <laughs> oh, no. Came nope. closer. He came Too closer. bad. It's always good when you stumble drunk outside of someone's melee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't happen. I think you actually stumbling drunk into I, the stone aura now. Yeah. Because I don't think you were in before. No. And I now wasn't. you are. So it still helped you. It did in the end. It just helped you the wrong way. <laughs> so now it's dice off. Armor 20, pow what? Uh, I think 16, effectively. So he has two boxes. Has two boxes left. But I forgot my shield bash attack, so we do that. Which? Which? He does nothing. Da -da -da -da, kills him. Or no, no, at least no one, one box. <laughs> you hit it with one. Right. Uh Yeah. So that's that's a thing. So I, I rock left. I have to like ashes to ashes him or something to death. As I'm engaged. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't care that much. It's a it's a troll, and he's focus eight. Sevy Sevy knows how to magic stuff. He knows how to be a wizard. Be a wizard. He's the priest king of Menoth. He so can you're going for magic. it. Yeah. Yep. Defense 16. Piece of cake. Hits. Boost. Mm, does, 20. Does the one damage Does needed. the one damage needed. So now no one has any jacks, any war beasts. It's infantry game. You're doing the damage on everyone else now, right? Yeah, the uh, the ashes to ashes spread on a champion does uh, does enough to kill him? No, no does three tough. damage. Does three damage. Eh, I tried. <laughs> one can hope. So Alton actually walks up, shooting Victor. Gives uh, gives Victor some help. Shoots. Going for the tough jack, doesn't I tough. I don't tough. Uh, I actually wouldn't have had tough, because you have grievous wounds. Oh, yeah. Eh. True. Don't think it matters. Didn't matter, because I failed it anyway. I scored but a point. But... This turn for sure. Yep, you're definitely scoring... Scenario pressure now. Here we go. It Tur only took... Turn five. <laughs> it only took, like, two hours to get to this point. Yep. Now we're playing the scenario game, guys. Here we go. 
Champions. Defensive strike. They're base to base now, so it's less good, but... And over a wall, the one, so you decided to choose the other one. Yeah. You still have Arcane Ward on. Yeah, no <laughs> no, no damage. So now I got four attacks on you. Oh, and that guy moves into the choir. I got to protect that or kill that choir. Uh, I mean, don't, you don't have to. Hits, <laughs> They're not overtakes. really doing much at this point. <laughs> overtakes one. Just protecting you from all my guns, you know, because I have so many guns. Look, Borka has grenades, yo. <laughs> if you can call it your name, or like a bomb. Just a big bomb, that's all it is. Uh, yeah, it does no damage. Hits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no damage. Power 11. It does, it Power does 11, damage. right? So. It, yeah, it's a little bit, is he? Yeah, I barely touched him. So now I'm debating this, this point. I'm to the point where I'm like, okay, I think I have the game. In hand, I'm debating what do I do? I need to kill. Do I go for the scenario? Put the scenario on this guy. If I kill this guy, I can score one point there, score one point there, score one point in the middle. So that's three points I scored this turn. Yep. So I'm hoping I can put scenario on with uh, Boca going in, charging, killing. Um, thinking about it now afterwards, I really think it was a bad position because now it left me up for the assassination. I feel yeah. like I'm up at the table now <laughs> with no transfers. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. I didn't think about this. Yeah, because, uh, well, here's the thing. Once you kill this devout, I have one option, and that option is Sevi going in on Borka. Now, it's not as bad as you think, because I benefit from my own Eye of Menoth, and I still have Death Sentence on you, because it's an upkeep spell. So I kill. So I score three this turn. Yeah. So I'm at three. So it's yeah. like you need to contest all flags it's or you lose. It's not a thing I can do. It's not. So this is your assassination run where I'm like, oh, so God. I have. So here's what I, I run choir members in and I pin Borka so that he can't stumbling drunk anywhere. So yeah, we were measuring a two-inch for each on me. Yeah. We also got to remember my clock was at like three minutes left. So like. Yeah, it's like five. I can't tell. I can't read that. Your hand was over it for like one second and it made a shadow so you could read it. Oh. It's like five minutes. Okay, so it's like five minutes right now on yeah. the clock. So, like, it's... Semi charges! For the game right here. Does he pull it off? My phone is breaking! Oh, no, the choir members are trying oh, to yeah, hit the champion. Oh, yeah, kill the champion. Yeah. So you don't take a free strike. Yeah, no. I managed to do... Oh, you retaliatory strike and uh, uh, murder him. It's like, oh, that, that went well, guys. Good job. The, uh, your one guy did nothing on Boca. No. So defense 14, engage, he is 17, and under the stone aura, he, no, engage is 19, and under the stone aura, he's 21. Yep. So armor 21. I think my stick is power 13. <laughs> What's your rat? My mat is 5, but I have rerolls. So it's mat less, is 5, you have rerolls. Bad. Okay. I think I need 9s. Yeah, 9s. I boost to hit the charge, because the you charge hit. is important. Pow 13. Pow 14. Pow 14. Whoa. Um, Doesn't do no. the damage Does I nothing. wanted. Hits. Boost. There's some damage for you right there. Roll 16. Hit with stick. Doesn't stumbling drunk anywhere because he, he's stuck. I can't go anywhere. Miss. Miss. Even miss, with the rerolls, I'm just missing. Miss. Hits. Hits that one. Now he's a bean. This is the last fury. Do I boost damage and roll the hard 17? Is <laughs> that the dice? plan? <laughs> What's the odds of that? Is that what <laughs> I do? And he does. Does he roll hard 17? 17. No. Nope. That is game. Womp womp. I score two to put the snare to five. That's yep. good game. <laughs> so that was a slugfest. Again, two weeks in a row, we have <laughs> we have shown some slugfests on this uh, stream here. Yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, this one was long and drawn out. Unfortunately, that's kind of what uh, trolls specialize in, and not what old men with sticks specialize in. Yeah, I definitely play trolls to the point where I play a nutrition game and scenario. I never really go for the assassination anymore. I try to uh, plan it so I can play the long game and make the clock either win the game for me or scenario on me. Yep. Uh, so this was John, and this was Evan. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let us know what you thought of the lists in the game in the comment section below or on Twitter or Facebook. You can find us 
in those places in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next Monday.